Hello friends, welcome to my channel Pharmacy International. It's been so long that I haven't posted any of the videos. So I'm going to let you know about my first job that I got as a pharmacy assistant. So I will let you know how I got that particular job. Is it a part time job or the full time? And if it is part time, so how many hours I'm getting? A bit information about the jobs and responsibilities of a pharmacy assistant. I have made one particular specific video for the same. Uh, it's good if you will if you will watch that particular video so that you will come to know about the jobs, responsibilities, and what tasks have to be done by a pharmacy assistant. In this video, I will explain you about my own experience how I get the job as a pharmacy assistant. Basically, there is indeed this is one of the uh, you can say the main websites where you can find the jobs related to any of the field in Canada. But indeed, is not just the only one. There are many other options as well. But for me, I went through the indeed. First of all, I changed my resume according to Canadian uh, guidelines. Uh, actually, there is no specific guidelines. but every country have their own way to represent their study their experiences so i made my resume or i updated my resume according to the people who are already here and who helped me to find out a, a form of a resume which i should make actually after making a resume because the first step is building your resume or cv after the resume what i did i applied through indeed but you know as you are a fresher over here and if you don't have any experience in the field of pharmacy assistant in any of the uh, uh, pharmacy in canada it's hard to find a job so what i did i applied through indeed but i tried to go physically to some of the stores which are clo which are quite close to my place i was thinking that i should go for the places at least which are close to me i went to many stores i guess it's 5 uh, 10 stores i went there physically I try to explain them about my uh, my capabilities you have to explain them because I don't have any of the experiences in the field of pharmacy after my graduation obviously during the pharmd time I was an internship so that may help me during my uh, communication with the manager of different different pharmacies but I went there physically and I think this helped me a lot I went, I guess, uh, like Rexel, Shoppers, Walmart, every corporate as well as some private pharmacies. I explained them about my capabilities related to teaching, as I taught to the students during my one year of experiences in the field of uh, one of the research institutes that is uh, related to clinical research and pharmacovigilance. As I was a teacher or academic head over there, so I explained everything related to my experiences to the managers plus. i explained them how i started my youtube channel as well and the main thing which i can say that helped me that i passed the evaluating exam before going to the pharmacy assistant job and uh, they they came to know that i did the same in the india like by remote proctoring and also might be this could be one of the reasons that they found me that i'm a, i'm a bit comfortable or they are a bit comfortable from me to be a pharmacy assistant in those particular stores everybody took my resume i sent them if they allowed me or they gave me their personal uh, email address so i sent my resume over there as well plus whenever i went to any of the pharmacy and if they are saying that yes we don't need now we are already occupied with many people and all still i requested it's not request actually still i asked them still if you need my resume can you please keep it with you so it's like that and uh, they took my resume and after one or two weeks i get call from one of the uh, pharmacy and uh, over there i got selected as a pharmacy assistant uh, but it was a part time job in the beginning they told me that they will give me only 12 hours in a week which is quite less it was monday then wednesday then friday 10 to 2 10 to 2 10 to 2 so it was hard for me to be only for 12 hours in a week and because of that particular schedule like monday then one day off then tuesday sorry the wednesday then one day off then the friday so i was not able to give my uh, proper timings or availability to any of the other jobs from which i can get more money actually but it's fair enough to get a job as a pharmacy assistant in one of the 
good corporate pharmacies especially if you are preparing for your further examination and you are in the path of a uh, path of becoming a pharmacist in a in a future actually i started working over there for 12 hours like 4 hour 4 hour 4 hours the staff is quite good and uh, they told me how to do the things they explain me what to do when not to do when to do everything they will going to explain you as well if you will apply for the pharmacy assistant job you will get every single training for the same so in canada basically whenever you are going to be selected for any of the jobs there are cbl that is computer based learning and that cbl will going to help you to know about the rules regulations privacy policies and all about that particular area and sometimes it's related to work safety hazards and everything so the cbl has to be completed before going physically for particular job and obviously for doing the cbl there is one portal and on that particular portal you can do the you can do the login with your id that is employment id so once i got selected there were some paperwork and all then they gave me some my employment id and from that particular id i log into the cbl portal and i did all the cbls and once i done with the cbls i went to the pharmacy physically and uh, they helped me to know everything about the jobs and uh, responsibilities to be a pharmacy assistant it's not mandatory that you have to do the cbl in your home or in your uh, in the particular area but might be there was a covid time and they allowed me so they asked me whether you want to do the cbl at your home or in our particular system computer system so i tell them i told them that i will do it i'll be more comfortable to do it at my home so i did it and after doing that i went to them so that's how i get my first job as a pharmacy assistant in canada so in short what i can say to you it's better to apply through indeed but if you have capabilities you have the confidence that you can talk to the manager directly about your capabilities how you can manage everything related to pharmacy assistant it's better to go physically to those pharmacies as well hopefully they will accept you now or maybe they will take your resume they will keep your resume with you as it happens to me and after one or two weeks they called me so it's like that so do indeed simultaneously if you can go to the jobs uh, you can go to the pharmacy stores in person that may helpful one more thing that i want to let you know that uh, if you are good enough means you are doing well in your particular area there is nobody who will criticize you i'm not sure about every other profession but what i feel in the pharmacy profession everybody is going to help you for example i did some uh, 12 hours shift over there they might found me the good one they put me in one of the whatsapp group and in that particular whatsapp group there were some people like the managers or the pharmacy tech they posted the shifts like for example they are posting tomorrow we need a help for the pharmacy assistant it's a five hour job it's a place can anybody help me so if i found that yes that place is quite close to my place or i can make a commute to that particular place i just have to tell to my manager is it possible can i go if she allows or he allows you can go to that other store as well but obviously that store is from that particular chain only for example if you are doing a job in rexel you cannot say that i am going to make another shift at shoppers so just try to make good links try to prove yourself do your work properly in proper ethnic as well as professional manner everybody is willing to take the pharmacy assistant it's not that much hard to get the job but the main drawback or uh, i guess it's uh, i'm a new to this place or i'm a newcomer they are not going to give you the full time job it's a part time job might be after one or two year of experiences you may get the full time job as well as a pharmacy assistant so you have to find some other jobs if you want to make some money otherwise you are if you are comfortable with the part time job and you are doing studies so it's good to have the pharmacy assistant job thanks for watching this particular video if you want to know something related to my job or any other thing related to pharmacy in canada do comment me i will try to uh, reply you over the comment section and if there is need to make any video i will do the same as well have a good day good luck to you for your every upcoming examinations or if you are coming here on a student visa so all the very best to you bye